All right, this is first grade, module one, lesson 26. And in this lesson, we're moving to another kind of subtraction, which is called the count on method. And we're gonna be using a number line to explain what that count on method is. It's important that we teach all the different kinds of flavors, let's say, of addition and subtraction. We've seen that table in the glossary in previous videos that show all the different ways we can think of addition and subtraction. And we wanna expose our students to all of them uh, so that our students can be as well-rounded as they can. It, it can be and be flexible uh, problem solvers. So let's get working on the count on method. All right, so when we see the problem six minus four, what we want to do is we wanna start with uh, connecting that to the number bond that our students are already familiar with. So what would that num number bond look like? Well, it would look like a six and a four and then we would have our big old question mark right there. So this is our related number bond. And the idea would be, then we also want students to see, well, what's our related addition problem? So it'd be four plus what equals six. So now we've connected these three things, the original subtraction problem, and then we have the number bond, and then our addition problem. And we want students to be flexible thinkers and, and think of all three of these things. And then using this addition sentence, we can uh, you know, use the count on method where they hold their fist and they kind of put the, their fist in the air and they go four, and then they go five, six. And because they're holding up two fingers when they said the word six, that means we know the answer is two. That missing value is two. Now we could use a number, uh, number line as well. So here's our number line. And the idea of that is to say, well, four means we're going to start at four and then we're going to count up to six. Five, six. And because we made these two little hops, one, two, that means our answer is two. So our missing value is two. Another example of that same thing, only at this time I'm going to skip the number bond and we're going to go straight to the related addition problem, which is 5 plus what equals 8. And that's going to be the answer is our subtraction problem right here. So it's a missing add-on. And if we wanted to use the count on method, we're going to start with the 5 and we're going to say 5 six, seven, eight. Now, if we were doing it with our hands, we would have three fingers um, holding up. We'd say five, then we'd go six, seven, eight. We made three hops, so our missing add-on is three, so our subtraction problem, eight minus five, is three. Now, this isn't revolutionary. This is pretty trivial, but Parents and teachers, we want students to think of a subtraction not only as a removal, have eight teddy bears, take away five teddy bears, but we also want students to think of it as add-on or count-on method, saying, well, I have five, how many more do I need to get to eight? Uh, we want students to be able to both tear down and build up so that they could be flexible problem solvers. Just real quick, uh, I chose this problem because at first I didn't know wh what these number, what these lines were for, and it took me a little while to recognize it, and so I thought I'd you know share. So you've got the subtraction problems here, you've got the addition problems with the missing add-on over here, and that's what they want. So here they'd say eight minus two is blank. So over here they want us to write two plus what? equals 8. And so if we wanted to do the count on method, we're going to start with the 2, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And because we jumped up 6 hops to get to 8, we know the missing value, the missing add-on is 6, so that means the difference is 6. And let's do one, one more just because. Uh, let's do it in green. So the addition problem is going to be 6 plus what equals 9. 
So that means we're going to start with our six. Now, parents and teachers don't reuse the line like this. You know, use multiple lines or use your fingers. Um, don't leave all this messiness like this. This is bad form. So we're going to start with six, and we're going to go seven, eight, nine. And because we made three hops, one, two, three, that means our missing value is three, so six, nine minus six is three. Same idea, only this time they also want us to be connecting the subtraction problem with its addition problem. So 6 minus 4 is what? So that means these guys go together. And then 9 minus 5, so that goes right here. And then, let's see, 10 minus 6, that goes here. 6 plus 4 is 10. And then the last one, 10 minus 7, goes right here, as in 10 is equal to 7 plus 3. Of course, parents and teachers, we'd be using the hops if necessary. And the last slide on this video is really just a reminder, kind of putting it all together. We've got the number line here, we've got the number bonds here, and then we're going to write both the addition and the subtraction problem. So let's just do this first one right here. So 3 plus what? 3 plus what gives us 8? Because there's our number bond. So we've got 3 plus what equals 8. And then our subtraction would be 8 minus 3 equals what? Now, parents and teachers, I would let our students fill this stuff in in any order they want. It's not important that they fill it out in the order that I'm doing it in. So let's start with 3 and go up to 8. So we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, well, how many hops did I make? So I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, so the answer, the missing add-on is 5. So 3 plus 5 is 8. So that means 8 minus 3 is 5. And I'm going to leave this one up to you guys to solve. And that wraps up first grade module one, lesson 26, using the count on method and a number line to find the unknown part.